WBUY, Springfield's News and Talk. Another absolutely gorgeous day from the Illinois State Fair. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. And yesterday was Governor's Day where Democrats rallied off the State Fair grounds and then on the State Fair grounds. Today is Republican Day, so Republicans are going to have their chance to respond. And one of those Republicans joining us to respond right now is State Senator Darren Bailey here with Springfield's Morning News. Senator, thanks for taking time with us this morning. How you doing? Well, I'm doing great. And man, it feels awesome being here on the just on a, early in the morning at the State Fair. And, and this is the best part of the day. And this is uh, this is my time of the day. This is the time we get uh, things rolling on the farm. And, and I just love sitting here with the uh, sun in my face and, and uh, being <laughs> here with what the state fair represents so so yesterday uh democrats they had uh, uh very choice words for republicans calling them extremists calling them radical calling them fringe uh and uh, they laid out their their policy priorities we'll get to the policies here in a bit but your reaction to the rhetoric that they're using uh here now with about 80 days left before the election well i think jb pritzker needs to look up the definition for for radical and and for fringe and extremist because i'm going to tell you something what this man has has done in Illinois for the last four years, I call that radical and I call that extreme. You've got the city of Chicago, a city that's in chaos. It's like the it's like the OK Corral. Every night there, there's shootings every day. I don't even know how long it's been since there's not been a shooting, and he sits and he he fails to 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 talk about that. Our school, school's getting ready to start across the state. School has started around here in the last few days. No one's talking about the failure of public education here in Illinois. Uh, our families and our businesses leaving the state in droves and people and, and, and business and industry failing to come here. Uh, that is radical, that is extreme. And uh, to your point, that's what he's doing. He's using rhetoric trying to get people's minds off of that, thinking that Illinoisans will forget it. And I, I'm going to tell you something, Illinoisans aren't forgetting anything soon. Senator, uh, they laid out uh, some of their priorities. Uh, they say uh, protecting women's reproductive rights, uh, even the governor saying that he wants to ban uh, so-called assault weapons and expanded magazines uh, and uh, a variety of other things, increasing government programs and, and so on. Uh, and even going as far as to say uh, that uh, Republicans uh, want to ban...
that's what this is all about. This is smoke and, and mirrors. Uh, that Governor Pritzker's uh, attempting to use. So in particular, um, there have been uh, questions about uh, comparing the Holocaust to abortion. Your reaction to that uh, and, and, and what some are saying is the Jewish community uh, uh, critical of, of your, your, your statements. That well, you there's no doubt again that the Holocaust was, was a, you know, an event beyond an atrocity, beyond parallel. And I, I've, I've said that and uh, I've given my statements out there so uh, people have my statements, we've dealt with this, but the only thing that J.B. Pritzker can do is continue to, to bring this up and regurgitate it. That's all he can do. That's the only hope that he has is to push back and, 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 and call myself and others extremists and radicals when this man's policies uh, actually prove to be just that. It seems that there's also gonna be an, all, an ongoing attempt to, um, you know, uh, say President Donald Trump is is being investigated for possible crimes and uh, he's an election denier and you uh, got endorsed by uh, President Trump uh, not too long ago before the primary. Uh, is that a liability? Greg, again, we're here in Illinois. We're focused on what's taking place here. Illinois is being destroyed from the inside out by J.B. Pritzker and all he can do is bounce around the topics trying to, trying to get people's attentions off of what's going on here in Illinois and, and that's not going to work for this man. Families are hurting, food prices are high, fuel prices are high. Uh, I read the other day that uh, Illinois is, is now a number one in foreclosures. Uh, so we've got some serious problems here and when J.B. Pritzker fails to identify and deal with these problems and bounces around with this rhetoric and, 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 and stories of the past, then that tells you that he's in trouble. Senator Darren Bailey with us. He's the Republican candidate for governor. Um, we're here for Republican Day at the Illinois State Fair. Uh, Senator, lay out your policy priorities. Uh, how are you going to reverse outbound migration that Democrats seem to deny is happening? Uh, how do you address schools? How do you address the economic situation? Uh, high taxes, high property taxes, uh, unfunded pension debt. Uh, lay it out there. What, what's your, your, uh, your platform? Well, Greg, I want to remind people that I've been here and I've watched this destructive process of J.B. Pritzker from the beginning. I first got elected in 2019 uh, when J.B. Pritzker came to office as a state representative. I spent two years as a state rep and then I moved up to the Senate. I've been in the Senate for the last two years. I've witnessed every bit of these destructive policies. I've witnessed the Safety Act. I've witnessed the no cash bail. Uh, and, and I've witnessed the, the, as you suggest, the outbound migration of law enforcement as they retired early, as they left for other jobs, as they, as they they uh, uh, left the state. I witnessed that. I witnessed continued increase in taxes. I want to remind everyone when I came into office, uh, well, before I came into office, the year before in 20, the 2017 budget was a $32 billion budget. Today, it's a $46.5 billion budget. Uh, more money, more taxes. If, if that's, if more money and more taxes are the answers, we shouldn't have any problems, Greg. And that's what the people of Illinois need to realize. The Democrats hold the super majority. Why are we feeling all of this? pain that we're feeling because if they have the answers they've got the ability uh, they've got the ability to pass them our schools are are a mess and they're not these problems and issues aren't being addressed so we simply begin to reprioritize our spending we clean house and we put new agency directors look at the mess at DCFS he refuses to deal with the failures of, of, of the uh, of Mark Smith there Mark Smith needs to be fired Governor Pritzker fails to do that. He fails to acknowledge that. So we simply begin by addressing the issues and, and crime and, and high taxes and our schools are the first three issues that uh, uh, we begin to issue, uh, we begin to address. And then we need to start prioritizing our spending and we need to start holding our government accountable and making it transparent to the people. And that's what we'll do. On the issue of uh, the Second Amendment, of course, uh, the governor yesterday said that he wants to ban assault weapons and expanded uh, magazines. Um, it, what what can we do to address uh, what what some see as increased uh, incidents of uh, mass shootings and, and and shootings in Chicago, as you laid out earlier? We simply need to follow and obey the current laws that we have, Greg. We have everything in place. Illinois has the most restrictive gun laws in the nation, and when you fail to uh, obey or follow the laws that are in place, uh, more laws are never the answer. We've got everything that we need in place that should have, 
could have prevented most of what's taking place. And Governor Pritzker is not talking about that. He's ignoring it because he's overburdened law enforcement with, with other things, and, and the system is failing. And I set every bit of that on the shoulders of J.B. Pritzker. And, and finally here, um, it's not a state issue. It's a more of a federal issue, but back to President Donald Trump, uh, the former president. Uh, your reaction to the raid on his, his property, uh, do you feel that uh, this is damaging the trust that Americans have with uh, the Department of Justice and the FBI? Well, Greg, I find it very upsetting. Uh, I personally look at this. I believe it is political. And I'm going to tell you what, watching this all unfold, I am very concerned about the future of our country. State Senator Darren Bailey, live from the Illinois State Fair uh, for Republican Day. Greatly appreciate you taking the time this morning. I know you've got to get off to uh, some other uh, conversations, but uh, we'll definitely be seeing you around the fairgrounds today. Uh, and uh, are you guys using the... Uh the new pavilion they, they erected over there uh, with uh, with Governor's Day. Do you know? I don't know, if, I don't know if we get to use that or not. So, uh, boy, I just I want to encourage everyone to get out here. This is an amazing state fair this year, and I'm going to tell you, despite the adversities and problems we have here in Illinois, I'm I'm feeling just a sense of uh, of hope out here. People are they know there needs to be change. It's an election year. People, I think people are going to step up to the plate because they realize something has to be different. But get out here, support this state fair. Uh, it is it is an amazing state fair. I think it's the best in the nation. And uh, obviously, agriculture is a huge component of it. You yourself are a farmer. Uh, talk about uh, just briefly here the the importance of ag. Well. It- Agriculture is no doubt the backbone of Illinois and America, and, and sometimes people fail to realize that because you just look at the farm sector, the people who are farmers, but when you go to start factoring in agricultural lending, agricultural manufacturing, agriculture technology, agriculture education, agriculture is no doubt uh, you know, the, 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 the leading, the leader, the backbone here in Illinois and when you come out here to the state fair you see that showcased and you see our young people you know who have been working with their projects and and especially their livestock and then these young people they've learned to manage money they've learned the responsibility and uh, that's that's our future and we've got to keep them here in Illinois. State Senator Darren Bailey the Republican candidate for governor thanks again Uh, get out of here you got other places to go so uh, appreciate your time this morning as we broadcast live from the Illinois State Fair. Thank you. It is Springfield's morning news I'm Greg Bishop up on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk, broadcasting from the Illinois State Fair across from the Carnival Midway. Come out and see us here at the northwest corner of the Reich Pavilion if you're on the fairgrounds this early in the morning. For-